Today's process is the Create WBS process. Create WBS is all about creating a work breakdown structure that is a hierarchical decomposition of the project work. We're going to take a look at the WBS really quickly. I'm just going to illustrate how to create a work breakdown structure. Work breakdown structures could be text based, they could also be done using a family tree structure, which means you would have boxes like this. So at the top, we have, let's say, the project title. This is usually the title of the project. And this is known as the root node. Topmost node of the WBS is known as the root node. Keep that in mind. Now, the root node, of course, it's at the topmost level, and that is referred to as well as level one. Okay, so you've got the topmost level known as the root node. Usually, it's the title of the project, and that is at level one. Okay, level one. Now, on level two, we could break down the work. These additional components at level two. Okay. And we could keep going down to lower levels, breaking down the work from higher aggregates of work to lower pieces of work. This would be level three. This will be level two. And let's go down to a level four in this one. Okay. Level four. Now it's a bit of a rough image here, but I'm hoping you get the idea. Level 1, the root node, you could go down to level 2, 3, 4, even 5 or more, depending on the project. But for your exam, the key things I would like you to take note of are the names that we call certain aspects and components of the WBS. Okay, So let's say level 4 is the lowest level of the work breakdown structure in this example, for instance. The lowest level of the work breakdown structure is known as the work package. The work package, some people refer to this level as the work package level. It could differ depending on the WBS you're looking at. Okay, so in this example, that's a work package. Now, one more thing to talk about in the work breakdown structure is another type of package which is known as a planning package. Now in this example, I'm just going to make this a different color. Let's make it blue. A planning package is a work breakdown structure component with known work content, which has not been decomposed. It will be decomposed as you near the time that the work is going to be carried out. So we put the work into a package such as this, and I'm going to write it up here. This is known as a planning package. Okay, that's a planning package right there. So let's say this topmost level, if I could do this in purple, topmost level is, is one. We give that a number one. For the numbering scheme, we give this a 1.1. This is going to be a 1.2, this will be 1.3, uh, this will be 1.4. Now in this instance, the planning package, we would name that 1.4.1. Okay? I know this image is all over the place, but just follow along, rewind if you need to. But this numbering scheme of the work breakdown structure is known as... Do you remember what it's called? Do you know what it's called? It's called a code of accounts. All these numbers I'm circling here. You might remember that. All of these are known as code of accounts. All right. Now with that, I am going to start off another WBS that looks a little bit clearer than this. Because it's somewhat all over the place. Just rewind if you need to listen to any of the things I said. 
we're going to draw another WBS here to give you a clear idea of these components one more time. See, on the exam, the questions I expect that you get on Create WBS are going to be more about the components, about what they are, probably how you create a WBS, and whether WBS can be modified. And of course, a WBS should be modified if the work changes with the right approval. So let's draw another WBS here. Root node. This is our level two here. Going down to level three. And here a level four. And of course we could do this across the board, but I'm just gonna stop so that we could focus on what these components are called. Now the last component I would like to call out here is something known as a control account. Now, of course, the definition of a control account is in the PMBOK guide, fifth edition, that is. But this will help you with the visual, visualizing the different hierarchies, the WBS. Okay. So, this control account, for the sake of this illustration, I'm going to say that our control account is at level two. Okay, so what is a control account? A control account is a management point in the WBS that is used to track time, cost, and scope performance. The control account being tightly associated with the earned value management system used in a firm. In firms I've worked in where control accounts are used, the control account, for example, if we're looking at this image, we know this is one at the top. Go back to our numbering. That's a one. That's a 1.1. That's a 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, .1, and 1.5, for example. Now, if, if we're working in a firm, 1.4 as a control account is used to track everything happening under it, but in an aggregate fashion. So 1.4.1 and 1.4.2 and anything else that comes under is all tracked right here at 1.4. For that reason, we could determine the earned value performance of 1.1. Say we're taking a look at the Cost performance index of 1.1, we could see that's a 0.8, we can see this is a 0.9, we could see this is a 0.7. For example, 1.4, perhaps it's performing badly at a 0.6. This enables management to very rapidly track the performance of each of these control accounts and zero in on where the project is not performing well. Perhaps at the topmost level, the overall cost performance index of the project is something like a 0 0.85, for example. Having your control accounts broken out like this and being able to track work performance enables management zero in on where the problem is. Perhaps a major problem of that 0 0.6 comes from 1.4.2.1, for example. 1.4.2.1 is the problem, you see. So having work broken out in this hierarchy, it goes beyond just creating a WBS for creating WBS sake. When done properly, when management harnesses the power in a WBS that is well planned out, that is realistic, that captures the sum total of the work and everything needed to perform the project work and get the deliverable done, when it's done that way, the price is huge. I mean, the payoff is tremendous. Okay. Bear in mind that the PMI has a standard for creating a WBS. And it, it is a great read. If you want to read a little bit more, I would advise you to do that. But understand that the create WBS process is really about decomposition. That's the tool and technique. 
because you're decomposing from the topmost level to the lower levels. And you want to be intentional about it. You want to be calculated about it. You want to give it a lot of thought. You want to do it with the power of the team. You want to have some WBS workshops that are thought out, intentional, and planned to get the biggest payoff from this process. Okay. A few of the questions I would expect on your exam would be things like I'm testing you on the root node, the different levels. If you're given a, a number from the WBS, what does that number really mean? What Which of the digits represents a particular component? What is a control account? What is a planning package? And so on. Now, before we round up, I just want to bring your attention to these terms in terms of the hierarchy. So a work package would be, in this example, at this level, work package. A planning package is above a work package. So this would be a planning package. Planning package. Okay. In this example, I've put it at level three, just for illustration purposes. A control account would be, as you can see, level two in this example. Control account. And the root node at level one. Okay, so I hope that helps as far as understanding what Create WBS is all about. Creating your work breakdown structure should be done before you proceed to create a schedule, develop a schedule. Because ultimately, what will happen to the WBS is it becomes part of the output from this process called the scope baseline. But then you're going to take this WBS and then you're going to decompose it. At the work packet from the work package level, like from here, you're going to take this and you're going to break that down into even smaller pieces. Okay, and that's what we're going to look at in define activities, which will be our next process. So that's it for today. It's pretty much thinking about create WBS beyond what you've got in the PMBOK guide. Definitely know the, the inputs and outputs and, and tools and techniques but try to live the process in your head okay i've got a project to do x start at the root node what are the different pieces that make up x then break them down into 1.1 to 1.5 and then what makes those up that approach to creating the work breakdown structure is known as a top down approach so you're starting from the top and you're going down it's a top down approach but you could also start from the lowest level when you don't know the work that well, right? And that's a, a bottom up approach. Okay, so we've got a top down approach and we've got a bottom up approach. And um, the bottom up approach is not typically used, it's usually the top down approach that's used. Okay, well, I hope that helps. All the best on your exam questions that relate to Create WBS. And thanks for joining. Speak to you again tomorrow.